Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is Justice for Ica. For those of you who play Yo World, I will guarantee that each and every one of you know who Ica is. His full Yo World name is Ichabod, um, and he also has a YouTube channel called Amru Yo World. He is so known across the game for hosting gambling, hosting the biggest bets known in history of the game. The reason why I'm making this video is because I don't actually get on Yoworld that often to see what's going on. However, to put a bit of history behind this, Ica got banned on the game on the 8th of April 2020. The answer that BVG provided him with was basically that he was uh, participating in third party transactions and I just know immediately that this is an absolute load of BS on behalf of Big Vikings Games because this guy is so legitimate and also he he's just so known for hosting gambling and not scamming anyone, not hurting anyone and is one of the most genuine nice people on the game. So I want to explain his story um, to the best that I can. Um, so I apologise if any of this is a little bit off. Um, but essentially, first of all, he's the biggest person in the game for hosting. If we look on his YouTube channel, you will see he has videos holding 4 billion coin bets for 100 million, 50 million, 220 million, 60 million. You add up the numbers alone on his video channel. You add those numbers up. That is probably way over six, seven, eight billion coins, and that's just the videos alone. The second thing to point out is this guy has played Yo World for 12 years. That's probably longer than what I have, if I'm honest. I haven't even counted, but that is an insane amount of time. And for BVG to ban him, I just think it's crazy. But Ica did approach BVG the correct way that you're supposed to, you're supposed to send a ticket off um, and provide, you know, feedback. I got a screenshot on screen showing you guys everything that he sent over in his original ticket. And BVG have basically just been not responding to the situation, not giving evidence to the situation. And to this day, they haven't confirmed any timestamps or information of this third party transaction that Ica has supposedly been a part of. Now, the fact that they can say that, but he he hosts gambling, I, it's just blown my mind. To support how strongly the Yo World players feel for this, there has been over a hundred different people supporting him on this journey since the 8th of April. Since then, people have protested on forums. BVG have just locked the ticket. They haven't even addressed them. They've just locked them down. People have been posting events, trying to get support. People tried to boycott the Yo World anniversary event. There has been so much that loads of different players have participated in signing protests and absolutely everything just to get at least answers for Ica. At least some sort of justification as to what transaction it was exactly that is supposedly this third party fraudulent action. But BBG haven't. And to this day, right now, there is still no answer to the situation. There is still no clear evidence from BBG on this situation. And I just find it shocking. I find it concerning for every single player on the game that BVG can do this but not provide evidence. And this guy played for 12 years, so I'm sure a lot of you watching probably not played for that, that amount of time. And I just think it's crazy that they just can do that and stop you from playing a game that you've spent that long building up your you know, your items and everything. It's just absolutely insane. The reason why it's taken me till now to make this video is actually because I didn't know about the situation. I had no idea that this had even happened. 
Um, so I, I apologise that I'm late to this, but I think it definitely needs to be addressed. I can't post on forums because I've been banned for over two years now, but I just want everyone to be aware of what BBG have done in this situation and hopefully we can get some sort of justice. If you guys have absolutely any suggestions on how we can go about getting justice, please drop a comment either on my channel or on Ica's channel and just let us know what your thoughts are and I just think it's crazy. But yeah, thank you for watching guys and have a great day.